All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 15 model 5584. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws. Um, the two screws in the corner here, they will stay in the case um, and they can't be removed. Um, but just undo them and then um, remove all the rest. So you'll hear it, it clicks when you have the screw all the way untightened. Okay, so do that on both sides. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So undo all those screws and then remove the other, all the rest except for these two. All right, once you do that, turn it over, open the screen slightly, and then get your fingernail between, or um, a pry tool in between the case and the top um, trackpad layer. Okay, so just do that and then push with your thumb down while you pull up with your nails or you can use a pry tool. Um, but yeah, just go all the way around like this. Okay, go all the way around just like that. All right, just like that. Once you get to the back, um, let's see here. So lift that up and then you can get your fingernail between the edge and then just slide it along or your pry tool, okay? Then flip it over. Here you can see what the inside of this cover looks like. All right. All right, then here you can see the battery. So the battery is a Dell, let's see, is there a model number on here? So the model is WDX0R. So that's the model if you need to replace it. Okay, um, so I already disconnected the battery, um, but basically you get your fingernail or your pry tools on the wings of the connector and you kind of just wiggle and pull it back. Okay, then there's a hard drive um, caddy and connector here for the two and a half inch um, SATA drive. You can put an SSD in here. Um, they do have a PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD here in this slot. So to take that out, there's one screw, you undo it, it'll come up at an angle and you just wiggle it out. Okay, um, if you work on the computer to be safe after you disconnect the battery, um, press and hold the power button for about 20-30 seconds just to drain any excess power. Um, and then, yeah, then you're safe to work on everything in here. So there's this USB board here with, um, I believe this is a SD card slot. Yep. So that connects here. And then you got the touch um, the fingerprint sensor here. And then you also got the um, power button. So, I mean, it's it's all built into one, but this is the kind of circuitry for that fingerprint sensor. Okay. Um, and when you take off the cover, open and close the screen um, carefully because it has one less screw holding it down. So it's not as, um, not as strong. Okay. Then you got the um, LCD cable. So to take that out, um, you peel back this adhesive and then there's a little latch, you gotta flip it up. Once you flip it up, then you can wiggle out the connector. And then to put it back, um, you wanna grab the little uh, latch and then pull both of them till it's completely seated and then put the latch back down. Okay, then you got this connector also for the USB and the SD card slot. Um, I'm not sure why it needs two connectors for that, but it does. And then you got the RAM here. So this RAM is um, PC4 2666V, so I don't know if you can see that, but that's the type of RAM. There's another slot, um, so you can add another one to get dual channel memory. It'll make it a little bit faster. Try and match the speed and the capacity of the original stick that's still in there. Um, then the wireless card, just like every other one, um, take the screw out and then pull the wire up from the tail at an angle. Don't pry from the front of the connector, and it'll just pop off. Um, I'm not going to take all of that stuff out. Um, I, this one just needed the hinges uh, repaired. The hinges were breaking off the screen and I had to basically epoxy it to the plastic shell. Um, there's some tricks to that to do it properly so that um, you can remove it later. But um, yeah, that kind of thing, it's kind of, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to mess it up. So every type of screen, it varies and depending how it broke. so. That kind of thing I'm not really going to show since it's not a uniform repair that will um, help everybody. Okay, so 
Remove the screws if you want to take the battery out. The battery comes out just like this. Okay, there is an adhesive. All right, so here you can see the touchpad, the keyboard backlight connector, and then the keyboard connector. These are all held in with these little latches. Once you lift it up, you can pull it out. Um, then you got the uh, speaker connector here, and it connects to the other speaker. All right. Then the fan, the fan connector, and then you got this little connector. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. So this actually, is it this, this smaller connector goes to this board and then this wider connector goes to the fingerprint um, sensor. All right, so that's for the fingerprint and the power button. And that's pretty much it. Um, the SSD, the M.2 SSD is held in place by two screws, so you do need to remove both um, to get this piece up. But that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, um, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, I will show how to remove part of the screen bezel real quick before I kind of end the recording. But uh, let me, yeah, let me show you that. Let me put this back together. So this one, since it's broken, you'll see kind of how I epoxied it. You kind of have to use tape and stuff to prevent it from... Um, sticking to components that you don't want it to. Um, so I'll show you that right now. Okay, put this back together. Clean off all the dust in this thing. The two corners they don't snap back in the screws actually will pull the two layers together so when you tighten the screws it will snap that in by itself all right so now it's all together make sure all those things are snapped together all right and then as i was saying for the screen so i'll show kind of how you pull it out but um like a lot of other models kind of um, pull up this edge, the inside edge, while you kind of pull in with the outer edge. And that's how you would pull out the screen bezel, okay? So this one, they actually damaged the screen bezel. It's broken in half, so um, yeah. That's why it's kind of falling apart like that. Um, and then this, I'll show you here. But um, there you go. So the bezel just comes out like that, okay? I don't know if you saw all of it, but that's how you remove the bezel. And then as you can see um, on this screen, it has these little pull tabs here. So this is a stretch adhesive, stretch release adhesive. So to get the adhesive out from under the screen, what you do is you just pull this adhesive and try and pull it as straight back as you can. Don't like pull it at an angle. So you don't wanna like pull it up like this. You wanna pull it out straight this way. Okay, so that's what holds the screen in place. And then once you peel that out, you can take the whole screen out. Um, but this model has like a metal um, piece here that goes along. Um, I'm not sure how they broke it, but it broke the whole metal piece off and then the whole hinge got destroyed. So I basically had to like replace the whole thing with epoxy. If you can see, it's a lot of epoxy. And then I had to use some tape underneath to prevent it from sticking onto the screen. So that way, if anything goes wrong, we could still replace the screen. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so as you can see, the hinge is actually pretty strong. So it holds in place, no issues. All right. And then, yeah, basically now just put back the um, bezel. Just snap it back in place. But that's pretty much all there is to this laptop. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Um, I'll finish snapping in part of this just so you can kind of see how it goes. But basically you just put it back in place and then push the pieces back in. All right.
pretty straightforward, snapping it back together. All right. And then make sure these two pieces click in place. So that's pretty much it. All right. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Bye.